Hi everyone, I'm Karen and today my topic is about tips and tricks for brands to start live streaming part 2. Okay, so I'm Karen Tan from SushiRate and I am also the SushiRate live stream manager. And I have one and a half years experience in influencer marketing and last year, 2019, uh, at SushiRate we have worked with 2,000 plus influencers and created 10,000 plus branded contents. And here are some brands that we are working with. Um, they are Sprizzle, Sophie, Tech Hoyer, Bros, Kate Tokyo, Jacobs, and many more. And basically, Sushi We have come up with a new platform. Uh, we name it as Confirm Plus Chop. In short term, you can call it as CPC. Okay, so for Confirm Plus Chop, it's actually a cost per sales model where the brand will only need to pay when there's a sales through our influencers e-commerce page and how does confirm price chart work so step one will begin with the onboarding one so we will do a discussion a meeting and once everything is confirmed then the brand will need to um, deliver the samples to our office then we will reply to influencers or the brands can actually directly send the products to the influencers so once the influencers have received the products which is on step 3 then influencers will begin selling while live streaming and also do some social media posting and the last step of course will be the get some sales okay so back to the topics for the um, tips and tricks for brands to do live streaming so on my first um video part once i have already introduced like three contents and continue by these three contents for part two so the content will be like which platform to sell products while live streaming and should live streaming on brand seller account or influencer seller account and what is the live stream influencer requirement so let's get started okay so first one which platform to sell products while live streaming so before you um clarify which platform to focus on i would say that you need to understand who is your target audience and also what is your objective to do live stream so once you have clarified understand the target audience and the objective then based on your objective we can see that which platform is most suitable for you to do live stream so for example the first one to entertain your objective is to entertain so for example you have a website and your website is doing some ongoing promotions so perhaps you need to like do some posting um entertainment or posting on your instagram um, page or also your um, facebook page to promote about the promo ongoing promotion on the website so and call to actions the um, followers to your website to make the purchase so this is sort of like a entertainment part entertainment content and the second objective will be like um to educate if your objective is to educate for example um you are a makeup brand then your you have new launch of foundation so um you are sort of like okay i want to promote in a way that um do a makeup tutorials and also do some like guidelines like okay um how to apply this make um how to apply these foundations how to do a full makeup using these foundations if the content is more like a uh, education purpose so you can do it on youtube so if your objective is to sell on e-commerce platforms and in order to gain more sales i would say that you can try it on lazada or shopee because um these two uh, e-commerce platform they have a lots of active users are there like hunting for promotion price so if you want to sell on e-commerce platform i would suggest you to do it on lazada and shopee and in my conclusions my suggestion to all the brands that um although you already know who is your target audience what is your objective and which platform you should focus on but i would say that you can actually focus on uh, like you can do on every platforms like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and ecom platforms because um, if you only focus on one platforms, 
then your target audience will be the will be like within the limitations. But if you like explore to other new platforms like Facebook, if you do have Facebook or do have Instagram, you should explore because it's free to sign up, it's free to get an account. So why not you do it all on all platforms and maybe on perhaps on this way you will gain another um, new group of target orders. Okay, so for my suggestion, do all okay. And the next one will be should live streaming on brand seller account or influencer seller account. Okay, so I separated into two parts. So the left part will be the um, brand seller account, and the right part will be the influencer seller account. So for the brand seller account, right, because you are the expert of the product, you are the expert of the brand. So I would say that you are the expert to um, your purpose is to. Uh, do live streaming on your brand seller account is to educate to guide people like how to use the product in the correct way and maybe like yeah in the correct way and also like um give some guide like to the viewers educate them about the products like uh, what is the ingredients and everything because you are the expert so while for the influencer seller account right i would say that um the purpose to engage an influencers is because you are um, you want them to like help you to talk about the um, ongoing promotions and also to help you to create the brand awareness. But they are not there to like um, guide the viewers that like, what is the correct way like the correct way to use the products and what is ingredients because they are not the expert. They are also part of the buyers. They are also part of your target audience. So they are only there to help you to promote the products and also create your brand awareness and also because of the followers um the influencers they have a lots of they have a lots of followers like into like different race different categories age group compared to your um um followers compared to your brand account followers which i would say that is more on like your regular customer so in conclusions i would say that you can do you must do um Lashing on your brand seller account for more education purpose content and while for the influencer seller account you can do it more on like um, um spray out the promotions like create your brand awareness at the same time so do live on both account okay and last one will be what is the live stream influencers requirements so um for me i think that these three are the main um requirements for a successful live stream most um the first one will be convincing and storytelling skill because um the influencers are there like help you to talk about the products and then they are like more on like convince people that to talk about all the benefits of uh, the products and then how to use the products and it's sort of like a convince people to buy the products during the live stream so they should have a convincing and storytelling skill and second will be improvisation and reacting on the spot because during a live stream it's like it's not a pre-recorded content so we cannot do any editing parts so whenever there is a viewers there is a comment and questions about how to use the product what is the promotion price so the influencers when they see the questions they need to react on the spot and answer the question on the spot to the viewers then people will understand more and they will also do the um, actions to purchase the products on the spot and the last one will be the character so i would suggest that every influencers uh, live stream influencers you guys must have your own characters you must have a sounding point to make people to remember about you so no matter it's from your the way you talk about the product the way you speak or the way you look like maybe you dye your hair into like rainbow color you need to have a specific characters or a points to make people to remember about you so basically that's the three main um requirements um based on my experience these are the three main um, requirements for a successful live stream influencers so i hope you guys understand more so if you guys are interested to do more on like cost per sales uh, model or maybe i want to do live stream um projects is it okay can um you guys can like um email me karen at sushi.com or call or whatsapp me at this number and if you want to know more about our brands our, our website you can go to our website 
www.confirmprushchop.com. So I'll see you next time. Bye.